In this video, we'll show you how to create dashboards using the latest features in MarketSight. Dashboards are collections of charts, images, key performance indicators, and other MarketSight items that are all displayed on a single page. The items in a dashboard can come from any data set. Here's a look at the dashboard section of MarketSight, listing any dashboards that have already been created. To begin, click the New drop-down menu and select Dashboard. In this example, I'd like to create a single dashboard that will be used to report a demographic summary of my survey respondents. I'll rename this item Demographic Dashboard. First, I'll give the dashboard a visual title for my clients to see by adding a text box. I'll click Add Item, then Add Text. I'll type in Demographic Summary and adjust the formatting. Next, I'll add our logo. I can do this easily by clicking Add Item, then selecting Add Image. I can move and resize the logo to get it just the way I want. Using the same steps, I'll add a decorative picture I previously created. I can use common image file formats, such as JPEG or PNG. You can see that the image has appeared on top of my title. In situations like this, the selection pane allows me to select different objects and rearrange their ordering if needed. Now I'm ready to add market site content to the dashboard. On the Charts tab, I have a list of all of the charts in my active dataset. I can click the Change button and switch to a different dataset in my account, accessing a new set of charts. To add a chart, simply drag from the list on the left to the canvas on the right. I can easily resize and reposition my chart on the dashboard. I'll quickly add a few more charts. I can add crosstabs or data views to the dashboard as well. Now that I have a working dashboard, I'll click Save. If I'd like, I can export this dashboard to PowerPoint using the Export button. Here, I have the option to export the entire dashboard as an image or as functioning charts. Just like regular chart exports, the underlying data can be accessed by right-clicking and selecting Edit Data. Back in MarketSite, I have several sharing options found under the Share drop-down menu. I can email a link to this dashboard to anyone by entering their email address. This is an excellent option for clients who are not Key Findings users, since they do not need to log in to access the dashboard. I am able to set the expiration of the link from one day to never expiring. Next, just like the market site charts and crosstabs, I can show URL to get a unique direct link to this dashboard. This choice is useful for sharing items with other market site users or with customer service. A login is required. I can also add this dashboard to key findings. Let's go ahead and do that. Key findings is the best way to share data with clients when you need to have your content protected by a login. I can preview how this would look to my clients by visiting the key findings page and loading the dashboard. Switching back to the Dashboard Editor, any dashboard can be made public by adjusting the permissions. If I enable the public setting, no market site login is required to view this dashboard, and it can be viewed by anyone. This method makes it ideal for embedding it into your company's website. Dashboards can also be made into templates for future use by clicking Save As. 
A template allows me to save this layout and all its images so that I can quickly rebuild with different content at a later date. To view my templates, let's return to the main list page. I'll click Templates on the menu, and here's the template I just made, so I'll click to open. To prepare this template for new content, I can take advantage of the placeholders feature. Placeholders are boxes that save space for market site items. Any pre-existing content in the dashboard can be converted into a placeholder. To do so, I'll need to edit my template. Next, I'll right-click on a chart. I'll choose Convert To, and then Placeholder. I'll go ahead and convert all the charts to placeholders, and then I'll save my template. Now I am prepared to reuse this dashboard's layout at any time. Back on the Dashboard List page, I can click New, Dashboard from Template, and then select the template I want to build from. The template will load with the placeholders we put in. I can easily drag a new chart or cross tab on top of the placeholder, and the item will quickly conform to the space. Utilizing placeholders will save me significant time in the future. When I'm done, I can save this as a new dashboard by selecting Save As – Dashboard. Finally, let's conclude with an example of a dashboard that you can make in MarketSite using the same techniques and a bit more time. Note the use of infographics here to illustrate gender and respondent location. Additional text boxes were used to add the content here at the bottom. That's it for this training video, and thanks for watching.